Right, so I've got the design and what I've done is I've actually made a copy as well. I've just literally photocopied it and it's just so that A, you've got a copy that can be put into a thermal imager to make a stencil straight from your line work. And also it's just in case um, you start colouring um, your picture and when you decide that you don't like the colour scheme, you've got a backup copy. Um, and it is just, you know, it's it's always good to make a backup. Right, what I've done also is I've just um, decided of the, the waves in the background, there's going to be blue waves. And what I tend to do is um, I tend to base blues with purple because it's within um, the same section when you look at a colour wheel. So, which means it's going to blend well together and you're going to be able to get some really nice dark tones from your purple. Because it's a Japanese piece, they tend to be very bold in the use of colour. So I'm going to be using um, alcohol markers, uh, blendable alcohol markers, because they will just give a nicer, bolder feel. And you can literally just work from sort of the darkest shade out to the lightest and if you really want to create some some light shades and highlights there's nothing to stop you from you know starting with the alcohol markers uh, towards the darkest areas and then blending through your colors and then ending up with pencil crayon at the edges or um, you know something super soft you've always got that option and um, so I'm just going to be like going from the purple to the blue to lighter blue to to really pale blue and then depending on that how that goes I might even highlight with crayon okay okay so now you can see I've got the purple in the next thing I'm gonna do is I will just be going in with the blue and I will actually be going over the purple the blue so that it actually will look more uh, blue than purple. Okay, so you can see I've put all the blues in now and uh, the way I did it, did it was working from the darkest to the lightest tones. Now I'm going to be using a very similar flow process uh, when it comes to the centre of the design. These masks do tend to be uh, quite red and demonic looking, um, but to base the red, to get an even deeper, darker red, I'm actually going to start with brown and then work from brown to red to orange to finish in with almost like golden highlights. Okay, so the finished design, you can see um, as I was doing it, just working dark to light on each section um, and working basically tonally um, as you're building up your colours, remembering to allow for things like shadowing, um, highlights, leaving you know spaces for highlights um, and also, when it comes to your colour work, you're going to want to consider contrasting and complementing colours, like I've done with this design, where obviously the blue is, you know, that's a contrast with the red, um, and then the purple and lilacs are going to complement both of those colours, because it's kind of the colour that's, that's in between red and 
blue on the colour wheel and it's the colour that you would get from mixing those two colours is, is purple so it's going to complement um, those colours so it's knowing where you want parts to contrast from each other and where you want them to complement um, and so you know I've been very careful with the fact that I knew I wanted to have a sort of a fiery looking lotus and a calmer um, looking sort of purple um, slash lilac lotus and it's knowing that if I'd have put the red one there where it's next to more red it wouldn't look right it wouldn't balance there'd be um, too much red in one area so really you just want to kind of break that up and then think well okay well you've got the blue waves here so the red one would go better on this side because you've got that uh, being broken up by the blue so you've got the contrast between the reds um, and then this side you've got the you know you've got the uh, complement to the red and to the blue anyway hope that this makes sense and I'm not bombarding you with too many videos Jenna okay bye for now see you soon